Change is a, a really tricky thing. It's, a, it's an elusive topic. It's ever-changing, ironically. And, um, and it's hard to come by. Um, we, we hope and pray for it. People live and die fighting for it. Um, but I guess the best way to it is through intentions, love, understanding, cooperation, trust, empowerment and just through personal responsibility responsibility to to the world responsibility to yourself responsibility to your future family or other people's future families responsibility to nature to animals to streams to rivers to forests to skies and winds to soil and, and to everything around us. So it might sound cliche to say things like, be the change you want to see in the world. But the truth is that cliche only means that it stands for a universal truth. It just means that we've, this is so commonly said because it's so commonly accepted that this is actually what we should be doing. It's super important that we care about these things not because of global warming, not because of whatever thing that that might or may or may not be part of causing some problems or climate change or whatever. It's not because of that. It's because wouldn't it be nice if we had cleaner air and fresher water? Wouldn't it be nice if we didn't waste as much? Wouldn't it be like a better solution if we didn't have to solve all these environmental issues if we just were more self-sustainable about it if we were just more conscious about our consumptions wouldn't it be much, like we all want better air we all want it and yet we don't all contribute to it equally and that's the tragedy of the commons the tragedy of the commons is the number one problem in the world today which basically explains that what is good for any individual is often detrimental to society yet we're motivated individually and not through the collective we have disengaged from society we we've, we've distrusted it we don't necessarily feel the same responsibilities towards it because of the problems that things like governments pose because of the mistrust of 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 theft and violence and, and all of these things, we, we've, we've disengaged from it and we've lost the sense of community. We find it in other ways. We, we, we play sports or we, we become fans of, of, of certain teams or singers or things and we, and we regroup as communities on Facebook and then on social media or around video games. But we're not doing it as a society. We're not, we haven't found a way to regroup properly as Earth inhabitants as humans that care about nature. And this isn't hippie ideals, this isn't hippie thoughts. I, you know, it's not, it's not only people who are tree huggers, quote unquote, who need to care about this stuff. It's everyone, because this affects all of us. You know, I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm particularly Define a hippie. To me, a hippie is the type of person that protests and complains and says that the world is, has problems and that we should all have peace and love and that's the, the way that everything should be. And yeah, an ideal world, peace and love, when roses and rainbows and unicorns and all these things would be fantastic, but that's not the real world. Vahala is looking to advocate serious change and, and to do such, we really have to put together a recipe of elements that will make this happen. There are four ingredients to sustainable change. That is sustainable ideas, knowledge, community, and action.